you were wondering when we finished watching the clock tower explained video mm -hmm. from internet history what happens where does it go from here is there a sequel to clock tower well yes we already knew that there was a sequel because the whole reason that we watched the first one was somebody recommended clock Part tower two, two explained yeah. on story mode so here we are finally getting to that and I'm, I'm I'm thankful that we watched part one because yes. it gave so much information that we didn't know. So right. With that being said, what is your guess as to how this moves forward from the first one? The little dude, which I don't know his name, um, fell and then I guess didn't die, and then she stayed at the place and they came back. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, no I wouldn't clue. live there. I would be like gone i would not be surprised if it's just like a 3d model retelling of the first one in a way with some changes or if it just doesn't explain anything and starts brand new i wouldn't be surprised if that's true that's, that's true. what happens so i guess it's gonna be explained it's to explained. us are you ready to find out i'm ready one take too scary clock tower two the struggle within Ding dong. We open to our protagonist, the 17-year-old Alyssa Hale. Is this the same lady from number one? <laughs> It's on the screen. So. Okay. She's coming out of the subway station and she's about to meet her uncle and auntie whose name are Philip and Catherine Tate. Catherine Tate? That's the lady who got murdered by Charles Manson, isn't it? Maybe it's the same Sharon. one. Spoilers. Philip says, Alyssa Spoilers. will be arriving this evening. Do you really think it's okay to have her stay with us? And then he gets kind of dark and brooding because it's spooky Halloween month, right? And he goes, the children know nothing about it. Everything will be fine. Our daughter Ashley will be home soon though. So don't look worried. Someone's here. Someone then suddenly enters the house. Catherine goes in to check who it is. And while she's gone, Philip looks at the table and goes, That Maxwell curses. <laughs> oh my god, Catherine is screaming. <laughs> One hour later. Alessa arrives later that night. And she calls out to her uncle and auntie. Oh, uncle, auntie. Hello. But no <laughs> one answers. She hears a noise coming from upstairs. She decides to go and explore. So she wanders through the house. And she finds some green body parts. What? In yellow blood. Uh-oh. I'd better leave. And she tries to, but the door won't open. Oh, no. Well, I guess I'll leave through one of the upstairs windows. So she ventures upstairs and she finds her cousin Ashley's severed head. And it's also green. My day is ruined. She says something My day about is ruined. An amulet. And then this statement causes Alessa's other personality, Bates, to emerge. Oh. It's like the werehog from Sonic Unleashed. So we're playing as Bates now, I guess. And she goes downstairs and then she finds her amulet, which she dropped before. And that causes Bates to receive. In case we haven't explained it, Alessa has two personalities for some reason. She goes between Bates and Alessa. Alessa's amulet dictates who's in control, right? When Alessa has the amulet, she's in control. When she puts it down, Bates. And Bates sounds like this. A little twerp. And Alessa sounds like that. Uncle Philip? Aunt Catherine? There's a subtle difference, but you can detect it if you really listen. <laughs> Back upstairs again, for no reason, she finds her Uncle Philip. Oh no. Uncle Philip, what happened? No time to explain. You've got to hide. Ooh. So Philip is like half squatting. Right, facing the corner, he's got a lampshade over the top that he's pretending <laughs> to be a lamp. Alyssa walks out of the room, then she finds a possessed statue in one of the bedrooms. And she tries to touch it, but the it zaps her. Oh no, one. we've lost the spooky tone. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Then she puts down her amulet, so she uses some keys, and then she accesses a locked bedroom. Don't come in, don't come in! We're just wrestling! <laughs> in here is We're Catherine and her other daughter, Stephanie, who's looking pretty green. <laughs> this doesn't work at all. Stephanie is walking towards her mum with an eye. Oh, Alyssa gosh. balls over a small child. Uh, Alyssa then tells Catherine, run! But then Bates starts to take over Alyssa once again. I can't control it. <laughs> Bates then kicks Stephanie in the head. Damn! Thank you for saving me by kicking Stephanie. I'm saving you. <laughs> Alyssa slash Bates then goes to retrieve the amulet, putting Alyssa in control. Tag team! She then goes to find Catherine again. What is happening to Aunt Catherine, says Alyssa. It's the curse! Woo! Okay! Then Alyssa leaves again. 
Then she finds a letter from her father, and it was dated 16 years ago. And her father gave her statue to Philip and Catherine, and it belonged to the Maxwell family. Is anyone following any of this? No. But it shouldn't have anything no. to do with Maxwell's magical powers or their curse. Alessa then thinks that this is the same statue from Stephanie's room. She returns to Stephanie's room, but when she looks there, the it's statues. like the statue's gone. Oh but then she finds Philip in the hallway. Hello. Philip says, oh, it's the Maxwell curse. Yeah, you said something about that before, didn't you? Yeah. Well, what's the Maxwell curse, Philip? Don't worry, just go and hide in the den. Here's the key, oh. Why don't you just tell me now so that we don't have to go through 12 hours of excruciating gameplay. Ooh. Alyssa then goes to the den. But Philip has beat her there. Philip How? says, All the bad things started after Stephanie found this in the closet. The curse is true, and this is also the reason that you have been cursed, Alyssa. Ooh. I'm cursed? So Philip tries to then strangle Alyssa, but she what breaks the... free and runs away. He lives into another room and then comes he back. He has been questionable Hello. the Philip whole time. Philip is now time. collapsed on the ground. Alyssa takes the statue and then she goes to place it in the fireplace. It's a statue. Yeah. But before she can... What's up? Stephanie bursts <laughs> through the door and she's wielding a knife. But Alyssa continues to burn the statue. I don't care about it's... your knife. Stephanie goes to stab her. <laughs> Bates then takes over. <laughs> How? And kicks okay. the small child into the wall, breaking Damn. her back. Little shit. The small girl gets up, and Bates stabs her in the chest. Oh. Damn! Well? Anyway, she then picks up the amulet, which she dropped. Alyssa is now back in control. Okay. Stephanie then stands back up, seemingly unfazed Good by God. being stabbed in the heart. And then Why'd Alyssa quickly the throws the lighter into the fireplace, <laughs> and it burns the statue. Stephanie is now dead, and Alyssa apologizes. Oh, I'm so sorry, and then collapses. She wakes up in the hospital, and there's a police officer standing around. Remember that time you stabbed a kid and broke its back? Suddenly, Alex. Who the fuck is Alex? Hey, my name's Alex Corey. I got a call from Catherine, and so I went inside, and I found you and another girl. Then I brought you back here. How's Stephanie? You, like, smashed her back apart and then stabbed her in the chest. She's just recovering in the other room. The pair then hear a scream from the other room. Alex then rushes off to investigate, and Alyssa starts wandering around the hot. No, she doesn't. She'd be handcuffed to the fucking thing. Yeah. She's handcuffed to her IV. They didn't do a very good job of it. She's then confronted by a green what? dog. What the fuck? But she throws the chair at him, which kills him. Alyssa then finds another man. Oh, good for her. Ah, my name's Doug. Doug Bauman, see? I'm from I'm a little, little news reporter, see? I gotta get the big scoop. Ah, uh, there's a huge story here, and I'm just here to poke around. Ah, uh, can I talk to you about, about the, big, <laughs> the big papers and, and stuff? I'm from the 1950s, isn't it? Okay. Ah, wow, well, that's, that's a good... Uh, can I quote you now? I'll catch you later. Doug leaves. <laughs> Alyssa then continues on, finds a dead green nurse. Oh, this no. would be great she for Doug's story. Then she runs into the bathroom and finds... A boom. What's a boom? It's a typo. She finds a broom. <laughs> the nurse then follows her into the bathroom. That's very rude. The oh my god, it's like that video with that <laughs> senator. And she beats it down with a breath. Weird script. Anyway, she fights her way around the hospital for a bit. She catches up with Corey the cop. You know what? I think Philip did it. Really? Yeah. yeah. There was like all this yellow blood all over his house. And also. Philip's like missing. Missing? Oh no. You know what? I think we should investigate the lab next door to this hospital. Your uncle Philip Tate, he's the boss there, right? Yes. All right, I'm going over there. Corey leaves, thank God. And then <laughs> Alyssa does some bathroom stuff. And then uh, she starts hearing a woman's voice in her head. The voice begs to wash away the curse. My cursed past, wash it away, please. And then also she puts down an amulet. Bates is in control. Ooh. Alyssa finds a nurse. What are you doing here? Oh, you're all gonna die. There's also a file in my office. You'll find your answers there. Okay. So they go to the office. And she finds a mad doctor. It's furious. Uh, it's all over. He's the one who did it. The mad scientist then approaches Bates and Alyssa and begins to <laughs> strangle her. Why? No. Stop. <laughs> Bates then knocks him back and onto the floor. Has a bit of a spasm. <laughs> and, oh no, look at the dance thing. And then Alyssa once again continues on. Not sure how, but uh, pulls a whole shotgun out of a desk drawer. 
And then she makes her way to the office and she finds a <laughs> document. And the document is about cerebral toxin. Oh, that means brain. Toxin mm. means poison, idiot. And it, how it turns people into zombies. This bacteria, I thought it was a toxin, forms a new parasitic brain and it makes the old brain stop functioning. And Bates deduces that much of the weak points of the zombies are their parasitic I thought it was about Scissor Man. Where's yeah. Scissor Man? I don't... And then Alyssa tests the theory with a shotgun to the head. Let's see if this Ooh, works. Not gonna watch that. No, the graphics are so realistic. Alyssa, I guess, wanders around until a, a mysterious woman confronts her. I can't what? forgive you. Yeah, Who are you? <laughs> that doesn't matter. Just know that I, I can't forgive you. Only because I won't let you die so easily. Bye, I, I suppose. And then Alyssa runs into the news reporter. Doug Bow, the research lab next door to the hospital is hiding some secrets, see? Eh? Uh, I'm headed over there now. You coming so with us? No, I'm good. Thank you. Our uncle okay, could well, be just the big sure bad. Kill now, now. Does he just he run through with some 1950s scissors? 1950s car. <laughs> honk, honk. Mm -hmm. So Bellman leaves, and then Alessa tries to escape, but the doors are locked. Oh, the one thing that prevents people from escaping most of the time. Corey the cop runs in, and he shoots the lock. Bang, 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 bang. He empties two clips, and he finally manages to shoot the lock. Suddenly, a zombie emerges from behind yeah. the door. Alessa yeah, puffs out. Corey kills them all and stuff, uh, whatever. I don't know, something happens. One hour later. Uh, she regains consciousness. Where are we? Uh, the research lab. I just saw Philip come in here, so I followed him. You know, he's kind of like suspicious, but kind of cute, whatever. Actually, <laughs> my uncle Philip is the lab director. Don't mean to name drop, but, you know, kind of a big deal. It's very normal for him to be here. I'm gonna go look around. You just like stay here and chill, yeah? Corey then leaves. Goodbye, Corey. And then Alyssa goes and does some of her own exploring. Oh, look, I found a penny underneath the vending machine. Then nice. she opens the door and the devil comes oh, charging. What? Is that right, Bill? Apparently so. And then the devil, what? who seems to be Maxwell. Who's Maxwell? I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not following much of this. <laughs> <laughs> he says, everyone must die. die. So Alyssa deals with the devil. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Sometimes. And then she finds the mysterious woman That's again. That's all it took? Who are you? I am... Shannon. <laughs> Shannon. Are you a ghost? You came here to die, right? I can help you with that. Are you a ghost? Oh, run on. I want to have a bit of fun with you first. Ah, ghost! Alyssa puts down her amulet and Bates is back in control. <laughs> and then he goes to speak with Corey the cop. You know, it's pretty dangerous around here. Someone as cute as you probably should leave. You stay out of this. You won't tell me what to do. And who are you? I suggest you get out. No one ever answers a straightforward question. I am Bates, she should say. Bates then leaves and wanders around for a bit and finds more stuff under vending machines. She finds the devil again and approaches it. Oh, kind of spooky. She goes, excuse me, sir. And then the devil says, you weren't supposed, supposed to be born. born. And then she <laughs> fights the devil and knocks him back. She makes her way to the Damn. library, and here she finds her father handcuffed, so she frees him. Alyssa, you're in danger. Go to the lab director's office, please. What about you? I'll be fine. I'll be there in a minute. Alyssa then continues on, and she finds her father again, and he opens the director's office, and the dad says, Oh no, Maxwell's coming. What the fuck's Maxwell? Alyssa, hurry up. you got to get in this room. I never answer a question in this game. Please, <laughs> get inside. Okay. And then Lisa oh. goes and finds her uncle Philip. I have figured out the secrets of the curse. It has something to do with your dad, Alan Hale. What? Okay, bye. Philip then leaves Alyssa alone in the room. Alyssa opens the locked door and on the other side of the room and she explores this place and, and then she finds the creepy woman Shannon once again. Ah, ghost. It is me. Shannon. Shannon. <laughs> you dis... Pickable wench, you ruined my life. I'm only 17, I doubt it was me. Your curse has befallen me, and I'll never forgive you. Oh my god, and then Shannon starts <laughs> yeah, choking she Alessa. She wanted to kill her, you so why would you wench. Her? Suddenly Alessa gets taken over by Bates. <laughs> Back off, bitch. And then Bates slash Alessa fly kicks <laughs> Shannon into a wall. <laughs> Uh, and then Shannon sprints off. Hi. I hate you. Bates then picks up a nearby hatchet and continues on. Bates then uses the hatchet to cut open a corpse to find a key in the graveyard. And I thought they smelt bad on the outside. 
No, then no, Bates no, reclaims no. the ambulance, and then Alyssa goes and finds the news reporter. That looks like Hank Hill. Like, ah, I don't know what's going on, see? But I'm starting to get tired with this game, see? Did you know that Maxwell was a chemistry genius? Anyway, now you know. Goodbye, 23 Skido. Oh. And then Alyssa says, Maxwell? Where have I heard that before? Ah, never answer a question, see? Ah, and I'm gonna head out. Ah, goodbye, see? Goodbye. My name Alyssa, and I'm gonna head outside, and I'm gonna find my uncle. He is on the verge of death. Oh no, uncle! The curse! Alan Hale, he fooled me completely. Who? Your dad, Alan Hale. What did my dad do? Uh, the golden statue. It, it wasn't the curse. It was all his plan. <laughs> oh. For you, uh. too. I'm dead. Anyway, then Philip dies, right? And it's very sad. God, Uncle and so Phil. she takes the keys off Philip's body. Are you going to cut this one open too and check if there's any inside? <laughs> and she finds the statue and then Alyssa's like, Hey, I'm surprised by this. Oh, that's weird. I thought I burnt it. And then Alyssa <laughs> goes into the next room and is controlled by Bates. Oh, no. Here's Alan Hale. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, it's you, Bates. Yes. Ah, so you figured it out then. Not surprising. But it doesn't matter anymore because it's all over now. Yes. You should go down first. You want to see the conclusion, don't you? What? No. Bates then leaves and picks up her amulet. Oh my god. And then she's wandering around and then suddenly Shannon appears again and she goes, oh, I'm going to strangle you or something. I'm not going to let you escape. You're going to die here and that. And Lisa goes, what did I do? And then Alan Hell walks in behind her and Alan goes, Shannon, stop. And then Shannon goes, what a joke. Calling me by my name. Did you ever have the right to call me by my name? You abandoned me when I was just a little girl, you can't. Alan then says, what? I don't know, I wasn't keeping up with the plot. Why do you want to get revenge against Alyssa? And Shannon finally explains, Maybe you're right. There must be a better way. <laughs> Shannon then just takes some pills and dies. What a fool, says Ellen. And Alyssa goes, who was that? Was that a ghost? And then Ellen goes, that was my daughter. And Alyssa's like, wait, what? Why didn't you try to save her? I don't know. I don't want to be a helicopter parent. Alyssa <laughs> chases after Ellen, but instead she finds Chris the cop. Instead, I thought it was Corey the cop. Anyway, my investigation's <laughs> over. I found Tate's body and the zombies don't look to be slowing down. I'm going to leave before they get me. You should come too. Come on, come with me. Jump in my car. No. Anyway, then she makes it to a shrine where Alan Hale is confronting Maxwell. And then Alan goes, I envied you and your brilliance. And Maxwell goes, Everyone, Everyone must, must die. die. You've gone nuts. Talking to you won't do any good. So, wait, no, sorry. That was rude of me. I did make you crazy after all. And then Alyssa goes, Dads. You're not my daughter, Alyssa. And Alyssa's like, what? You're not my dad. You're actually... Maxwell's. Alyssa goes, what? Oh Who the fuck God. is Maxwell? And then Alan goes, oh, I was just jealous of Maxwell. So he pretended to be my dad. So I dug up his dead daughter's grave. What? <laughs> Alyssa goes, what are you talking about? And Alan goes, hold on, this is his torch under the face moment. Hold on, hold on, let me turn on the smoke machine. <laughs> For you see, Alyssa, you are the cursed child of the Maxwell family. What? Who the fuck's Maxwell? The daughter with the cruel alter ego. A cursed daughter. The lightning flashes. Every few generations this happens and you're the one of them. And then Maxwell goes, Everyone must die. Alan shoots Maxwell. Even though you were cursed to lesson, I always loved you. I never thought of you as a tool to harm anyone. So I infected that statue with bacteria to drive Maxwell crazy. What? What? <laughs> what? what? I've got school in the morning. <laughs> Bobby, listen. Hurry and leave. This building is about what? to explode. Alyssa <laughs> goes, what? I don't <laughs> Why? And then Ellen falls and dies and then maxwell oh my God, suddenly course. resuscitates everyone must die <laughs> and then glory the cop suddenly shows up 
Oh Get down! <laughs> Watch this. God. And then Alyssa dunks. And Maxwell is shot again. And then the game just goes, I guess we'll fade out. There's a flashback yeah. of Ellen digging up Maxwell's grave and saying, it's nothing to worry about. It'll be good. And then we cut to Corey and Alessa standing in front of our burning lab. Everyone's dead and it's all my fault. Yeah, it is. It would have been better if I had died. And then Corey says, it's not that you've died there once already, you know. What does that mean? I don't know. And then Corey just goes, well, I fucked up whatever that line was. Anyway, I gotta go take care of some of these zombies. Catch you later. And then he skates away. Radical, dude. And then Alyssa smiles. <laughs> That's the end of the game. That's it. Thoughts. Quite spooky. The entire time, my body was just rigid. <laughs> you were constantly changing your trousers. <laughs> What's the curse about? So what I think it is, the curse is that every few generations, the Maxwell family has a cursed child, right? So this mm. cursed child has to be buried alive as soon as they're born. So Alyssa has a twin brother who's Bates, and they were buried alive together because they didn't know which one was the cursed child. Then, Alan dug up the twins because Alan was jealous of Maxwell. Right but the twin brother Bates was already dead, and Bates' soul had then transferred into Alyssa's body, which is why she has two personalities. And somehow that, that has something to do with the statue. Just say spooky ghost. Ooh. Where's the scissor man? Really? Where's, Where's scissor the man? clock tower? Dong. Also, apparently this isn't actually the second game. Apparently there's another game that's like clock tower something else, and it's like technically the second game. Honestly, I think what they did is they made this completely different game, and they were like, shit, it's not going to sell very well. What do we do? Oh, that clock tower game sold pretty well. Let's slap the name on that. <laughs> yeah, that would actually kind of make sense. Anyway, Bill. Oh, that's a nice you amulet that? you got there, Bill. It's been Oh, done. You. you had a brother, didn't you? Yes. Bates Gates. Hey, do you want to hold my amulet? Here you go. Oh, that. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Bill was the evil one all along. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what a twist. What a twist, fellas. Happy yeah. Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween. And a happy new year. None of this. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I never know what he's gonna do. I want a refund. A 21 minute refund on your life? <sighs> no, it's not story mode or internet historian's fault. It's, I told you there was a chance that they just fucking did something completely well, different. Well, you said 3D, but the same exact story. Or it could be just something but it was completely 3D. fucking different. So it was 3D -ish. and Their it was completely fucking not even, not the even same remotely. Thing There's no scissors? Yeah, well, I mean, Persona in a lot of ways is that way. Um, some of the SMT titles have been that way in the past where they just Go use, off rails. Well, they just, just use some of the same like entities and things like that, but the story and the it's just completely fucking different. Which would be fun, but you're expecting Clock Tower. Well, it, it, there's this thing with some video game franchises that just like like Far Cry, for instance. Far Cry Five and Far Cry New Dawn were connected. But other than that, really, Far Cry is just kind of disconnected from each game completely. I don't know. Um, it plays similar and everything, but the the detail that gets me a little bit twisted on this one is like there was actually a clock tower right. in the first clock tower. In this one, it has that point and click type thing going on. But um, no clock tower to be found. No clock tower. And the only reason that I could see that they would still continue to call it clock tower is if it in some way connected to the game where there was a clock it tower. Did it, it did not. At all. None of this made any <laughs> it sense. It would be different if it was like point and click scary game clock tower and then point and click scary game bacteria. Like, yeah, if yeah. that was the name. Right. But I do think, you know, internet historian's probably right. They probably Slap just decided to fucking... Or was it story mode? You know, they're two different people. Uh, this is story mode's channel. I think I'm finally coming to understand story mode is the guy that was being Bill Gates. And that is who the name of that 
creator is story mode. Right. An internet historian is just a guest all the time and narrator on his videos. I think someone told me oh. that story mode is an editor for internet historian oh. and this is his channel that he does stuff with. I thought it was all internet yeah, historian right? all these different No, he aliases. is involved and this is a guy that edits videos for him and he's friends with, but he's just also on this channel and narrates and stuff. But Let us know if that's right. Yeah, I, I think it's, this is getting to be more confusing than Clock Tower for me, <laughs> but I am not difficult to confuse. I'm a fucking moron, but... <laughs> I, I don't think that they were following it that well either up until the end when anyone, Story Mode did imagine, the synopsis. Could you imagine being like, Clock Tower is like my favorite game. I, I'd be like, I really liked it. I'm just saying, let's just say that you liked it or you played it or it's like a big deal for you. Maybe like some, you played it with your brother, yeah. whatever, okay? And you're like, I'm going to play Clock Tower 2 or 3. Who knows mm -hmm. what this really was. And then you get whatever the fuck this is. Now it took twenty one. This is number two. I know, but he said that. Oh, that it's. It might be the like story number from three. one is continued in like number three or something. Anyway, yeah. so it took twenty one minutes to get through the story of this on the video. But how long would it take you to get through the entire game and Dude, then just to be like? I played. I played with it for what? like an hour and thirty minutes, and I was just like. The first one. Yep. On the Super Nintendo, yeah. But not this. I'm saying, no, imagine being like, one. I'm going to play the next one, and then... It's completely different. It's completely different, and it takes you however long to get through, and then you're at the end, you're just like, what? Yeah. Which I'm sure... And the first one, to happens. me, looked better. I think a lot of the games that came out that were trying to be with the... 3D models and mm -hmm. stuff like that early on were just horrendous. And I just don't like a lot of them. It's like, what is that? The Hagrid? The oh, Hagrid yeah. Hagrid from PlayStation 1 Harry yeah. Potter. <laughs> yeah, it can be pretty brutal Uncle at Phillip times. Pretty Uncle rough. Philip looking pretty ragged. Whenever what's his name was doing the fucking vibrations on the ground, <laughs> that shit looked funny as hell. But uh, awesome video. Thank yeah. you, Story Mode. Thank you, Internet Historian. You are both very, very well appreciated. And uh, if you guys have not yet subscribed to Story Mode, go check his channel out. Obviously, a connection to Internet Historian. That's the man. Or you is know. it Internet Or is it, yeah. Is this Clock know. Tower 5? Um, anyway... I had fun watching this, yeah. even though it was a complete and utter mindfuck. Thank you for the recommendation. We really yeah. appreciate it. Do you know who recommended it? I Somebody will. in Discord? Yeah. Yep. No, right. no, no. In the comments. In on the YouTube. comments of YouTube. So either but one of yeah. those is a way that you can recommend videos to us in the comments section. Yeah. Or on our Discord, which we'll have linked in the description as well as the original video. Yes, and you can like this video. You can subscribe to our channel. Uh, we do live streams every Monday and every Thursday at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time all the way up to 8.30. So you can join in on that. Um, right now, I think we're going to be playing some Back for Blood. That's the, the video or the game that we're playing with uh, Nate from Renegade Media Group, which will also be linked in the description. So I am going to try to get Nikki involved in playing that game. Um, she's not much for first-person shooters, so... <laughs> okay, if it takes two thumbs, can't do it. You can do can't it. Can't do it. You can do it. Can't do it. Come on. Everybody in the comment section, cheer Nikki on. We got to get her in the fight to take on these zombies. Oh, my gosh. Zombies. But for this video, I think that's going to do that's it. Do Again, it. thank you guys so much, but we will see you 